Hey Josh B. Castro here and in this video I'm going to show you how to be epically unique on Zoom or whichever app you choose that's similar to Zoom be it Google Meet or Skype or yeah you get the point so yeah that's what we're going to be doing uh, we're going to we're going to be using OBS Studio to accomplish that and a plugin called OBS Studio Virtual Cam and Zoom so that's those are actually the three things you're going to need Three, three things. That's that's not okay. So you're, you're gonna need in order to get this to work. So as you can see right now, we're in actually a Zoom meeting by myself, uh, in a circle, in an egg. Ain't that unique? Ain't that just awesome? If it's not unique enough, you have full control to do whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. I'm gonna say that a lot in this video, probably like three more times. So watch out, be careful. So yeah, if you're if you're you're if you're a student, if you're an employee. Since we're all working from home or we're at home learning and, and, and using this platform called Zoom or, or Skype, it works on Skype or Google Meet or whichever messenger it's possible there too, then yeah, you just want to up your, your, your conference call meeting setup. You want to, you know, you want to, you know, you want to make sure your brand image is there for people to see or your brand colors or whatever you think you know you can do with this this feature then you know the choice is yours it's up to you so we're gonna head all the way over there to start this tutorial and I you know enjoy so first you're gonna need OBS studio I'm gonna just assume you don't have it okay um because you know if you don't have if you already have it then just you just skip this step but just go to obsproject.com Right here, you have your three options, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. I'm going to go Windows because that's what I'm on. It's going to download right here on the bottom left corner of your screen. You just wait for that to download. For me, it's going to take like three minutes to two minutes. So, yeah, that's basically, yeah, we're just going to wait. Okay, it's 40 seconds now. So, yeah, you just wait for that to download because you're going to need OBS Studio. It's going to be very important for for this for this to work all right uh, if you already have zoom download that zoom but i'm gonna just assume that you already have zoom and you just want to up your your zoom game if, if you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to buy time right now because we still have six seconds five seconds yeah it's almost done it's it's we're almost there and then yeah okay there it's 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 doing its thing you just gotta wait for it a bit it's gonna there and then boom so you click that and then you follow the obs studio setup and then after that you just follow through just say yes to everything then after that it'll say finish and then launch obs studio so you just click that it's really simple then once that's it's just gonna load up obs studio would you like to run auto configuration wizard no you don't you actually don't need to do that you can do it later if you want but for our convenience sake we don't need to so we're just going to full the screen this all right so i want you to know, take note of one thing all right so you got tools up here on the top left corner you see tools see there is something missing here that we actually need and we cannot find all right it's called it's the obs virtual cam you're going to need that it's going to be very important it's going to be very crucial so what we're going to do is we're gonna actually install it okay so to install it you just go back to your web browser be it be it microsoft edge or google chrome and then just go to obs studio plugins yeah that's your go-to that's the keyword you want to type the first the first one here all right the, it's, it's just there and then go to obs studio plugins and then after that you want to go to filters and then you want to filter it by downloads all right and then descending that way it's actually it, it it's it's just just follow just trust me okay all right uh then there's going to be two options actually so you got obs virtual camp 2.0.0 2.0.4 and 2.0.5 so 2.0.4 is actually deprecated so this is obsolete don't download this even though it has more downloads has more um ratings that's because this is the old version you want to actually download the new version even if you click this link it'll bring you to the new version which is 2.0.5 or you can just go directly to the third option which is obs virtual camp 2.0.5 
Um, there is actually download instructions how to use depending on what platform you are, Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. But for our use case, we're just going to go to, to go to downloads, and then it should download uh, depending on what platform you're on. Hopefully, right? Hopefully that's how it works. And then, or if yeah, okay, cool. So, uh, what is once it's done downloading, you just open it. It's really it's easier actually than downloading uh, an advanced scene switcher. Then just hit yes, finish. Uh, then just hit next, next. You're gonna only need one, honestly. Typically, it does says you will not need more than one. But for your use case, maybe you'll need more than one. It depends, but you know, just for now, one is fine. So install. And once it's done installing, finish, finish, you're good. Open up OBS Studio and then close it and then open it up back again uh, so that we can check up here in tools. And then there you boom, you got it. Virtual cam installed. Easy as pie, but we're not going to start this just yet. We're going to close this and then we're going to continue to the next step. All right, so as with all my tutorials regarding OBS Studio, I like to go to profile first and then we're going to create a new one even though this is technically new. Even if you do have OBS Studio, you're still just going to want to make a new one. Just So just make a new one. All right, so for, for efficiency sake, so just, you know, to make sure that you don't forget what your settings are just to be... What's the word I'm looking for? Organized. Okay, just to be organized, we're going to start off with the aspect ratio of the canvas you're going to be going for, which is, in our case, it's going to be 16 by 9. The resolution we're going for is going to be 1080p. And the frame rate we're going to be going for is a 24, which is fine. 24. And then what this what 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 this is about is zoom. All right, we're just gonna do this. So that that's the format we're gonna be using. So 16 by 9, 10 to be 24. Zoom. All right, hit OK, and then that's the profile you're gonna set up the profile now. So just go to File Settings. It's also the bottom left corner, and then yeah, just go through all of this. So for general, you just you just wanna keep that default. That's perfectly fine. Stream, we're not streaming, okay? This is, we just want to look awesome in Zoom. Uh, output, we don't really care about the output. We're not downloading, we're not recording anything. Uh, audio, we're, we're not, we're not running audio through OBS as well. Video, though, is a very, a very important, all right? So depending on your monitor, ideally, it should at least be 1920 by 1080 at... Uh, right, so yeah, we're gonna do that because uh, you know with zoom You can't use a different aspect ratio other well you can but then you, there's a trick to actually fix it because if you say for example a two by one aspect ratio and then you put your camera when you go to zoom It's gonna make you thinner which could be a good thing, but yeah, you don't want that. You want to be all natural. So for us, we're going to do 1920 by 1080, which is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. By cubic is normally standard. We're going to drop the frame rate to 24 because that's what this profile is about, 24. And then just hit apply, and then we're good. Hotkeys, hotkeys is uh, uh, optional depending on how you want to be epic in zoom I'm like your epicness will increase if you use hotkeys and scenes and but that's that's a different story that's for a different video all right for advanced you want to go bring this to above normal as always um color format that's fine color space 709 color range of full uh file name we're not recording so we don't need to mess with that for now stream delay not all this is good hit apply okay and we are done next as i always like to do as well make a new scene selection it's never wrong to make a new scene selection again to be organized all right so hit new so for scene selection i always like starting with the aspect ratio as well so that i know that this is compatible with this profile it's good to know it'll save your your brain in the long run so trust me it's nice to be organized with profiles and scene selections rather than having them all in one profile in one scene in the default it's it's just it is just i i've been there it's not good it's not a good place to be <laughs> so 16 by 9 uh you only really need to know the aspect ratio and then just you can just go directly to zoom what it's for 
so 16 by 9 zoom that's perfect okay so there we got a new scene so we're on profile 16 by 9 1080p 24 zoom and scene selection 16 by 9 zoom now we want to go to tools now that we have virtual cam we can actually turn this on uh so yeah obs camera that's your target camera you can auto start when you turn when obs turns on but it's nice to actually have control over this uh horizontal flip i don't recommend using horizontal flip there's actually a bug with horizontal flips so don't use that keep aspect ratio that is actually an option that can fix it but it's nice to just make sure that everything is fine in the first place so you can just leave that as is unless otherwise and then buffer frames just let's just leave it at three three is perfectly fine and just hit start all right and then he can hit next next you want to do is you want to open zoom all right so yeah zoom open zoom are we opening zoom all right let's go open why am i topping it wrong all right zoom all right so here we go zoom you don't want to make a new meeting right off the bat uh but you can but <laughs> you just want to go to settings you want to make sure that it's all set up first go to video and then here so as you can see i'm using a logitech brio but i'm using the logitech brio with with our with obs right now so you, it's not functional here but we're not going to use that anyway we're going to use brio i mean obs camera so as you can see you have to actually scroll down and it should be there obs camera so there you guys have it that is obs camera so anything you see in obs you will zoom will see all right so that's powerful you see, you see the power in that right now it's a black screen but then it can be you it can be pikachu it can be whatever you want it to be which is amazing it could be your name it could be your story there the the it's endless the the possibilities that's the word i'm looking for the possibilities are endless so once that's set up you can do original ratio or 16 by 9 just just keep everything at 16 by 9 that way there's no headaches in the long run uh audio you gotta set up your audio to your audio but yeah we're just we're just here and um, to talk about video so close that and then you you want to you want to hide this for now so we're going to actually have to set up the scene collection so first off we're going to actually have to add a camera so you're going to want to go to here add a source or actually you can even rename the scene uh you can rename this scene to just zoom for now zoom is perfectly fine zoom makes perfect sense so you want to go to plus sign here you want to add a source you want to add your camera first so people can actually see you in zoom because you know that's what zoom is or you can add a picture but for our uh for our use case for our example we're going to actually add a camera so like always going to do this type in cam and what camera are we using it's a brio hit okay make sure it's visible then we're gonna actually have to choose our camera so in like i said logitech camera that's the camera so make sure to choose yours be it logitech or your dslr or however you got it set up pick that and then since we're using a logitech brio we're gonna actually have to change this to custom because yeah this um this this one by one um this, we're not rocking that all right so resolution we want this to be 1920 by 1080 because that's what this is all about uh, for the frame rate for the FPS, we want to change that to 24 film, <laughs> All right? And color space is 709 and color range full. Hit OK, and then there we have our camera. We have our scene. We are good to go. Actually, we are not. All right, we want to be unique, so we want to set this up. And then, what is the most unique thing that you don't normally see on Zoom? Is people in a circle? All right. Uh, we're, we're gonna make we're gonna add a mask filter so that we can be us in a circle so that when we're in zoom people will say oh how did you make your camera into a circle so that's what we're gonna be doing uh so like i said before in a previous video we're gonna choose we're gonna do that via canva because canva is available to everyone now and it's free and it's actually not that hard to do on canva as well so i want you guys to right click on your canvas here in obs studio it's 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 similar all right and then i want you to go to full screen projector projector full screen projector get this 
get a screenshot of yourself. So just say cheese, and then that should be good. Escape, and then I want you to open up a Canva. So go to canva.com. It's really simple, canva.com. Everyone should use canva.com. Create a design, custom dimensions, 1920 by 1080. Create a new design. Uh, you can even rename this to Zoom uh, Mask. Just name it Zoom Mask. Zoom Mask is perfectly fine. Go to Uploads. Uploads, okay. This one was from the previous tutorial. And then Paste. Click Control V. And then that's there's you. It should be you. And then you want to actually, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you can crop it so that it actually becomes 1920 by 1080 or has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio feel to it so that should be about right so if the width is 1080 then this should crop perfectly fine to 1920 so there that's you and then as always you want to go and get and add an element uh, it can be any shape you want. It can be a circle. It could be a square. Actually, squares. It doesn't make sense to choose square because you can actually just do that in OBS. It could be a pentagon. It could be this thing. It could be anything. It could be even this. Wow, that's actually <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, but we're not doing that. We're gonna like I said, we're we're rocking the circle, the nice good circle. So drop the transparency on this just a bit so that you know what you want to see. All right, so for you want to just have it like a headshot. You want to have you want to just have your head, you know, being be shown on Zoom. That that's perfectly fine. You want you to have your whole body in a circle. That is also perfectly fine. But for our case, we're gonna choose just about, you know, include the V part of my neck. That that's about good. All right, so can we skew this? Yeah, we can even skew. You want to make it an egg? <laughs> all right, all right. That, that's even more unique you want to be more unique make it an egg uh, then you want to increase the transparency back to 100% and then change this to white and then go here to backgrounds you want to change the background to black delete this picture you don't need that anymore and then this is your final what your final look should be you have your white and you have your black the white is gonna be what the camera will only show the black will delete everything else that's the power of the mask filtering blend in OBS studio then after that just hit download and then download the file preparing your design it's it's really fast and then it should be there bottom right corner you could even do this show in folder all right it's in downloads that's good to know so now you know where it is go back to obs studio we are here and then you want to actually put this in a group it's actually always good to actually put this in a group so that you can you know name this the mask so that way it just masks the camera so that along the line if you add a new scene with a camera it doesn't mask that camera it just makes sense trust me and then create a filter on this group not the camera uh then choose where are you image mask blend hit okay find your file mine's in downloads zoom mask hit okay and then there easy as pie you are now a circle see in a circle you can add a background if you want you want to go the extra mile add a background add an image background it could be a video background it could be a looping background it could be anything you want to be a gif it, it's just the, the 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 possibilities like I said are endless it can be anything absolutely it could be a picture of you or and it's just amazing right <laughs> all right so I'm gonna just choose from my list of wallpapers this Kimi no Nawa that 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 looks good like you know I like galaxies and stars and stuff make sure to put this all the way down and then there so that that's the look you're going with I'm like why not you can even just choose to close that all right so now let's go see what this looks like on zoom so we're gonna go create a new meeting here on zoom and then there see there that's your zoom meeting that's what people will see when you're on zoom if you want to actually even just look a little bit more professional just keep it simple there it's a black uh, can you not yeah I can't give you the yeah so yeah it's, it's that that's it we're done
There, there's nothing else. See, when you go to stop video, it's on OBS camera. So that's good. And then when your friends actually see you now or your classmates or your colleagues, they're going to say, oh, Josh, how did you how did how did you make your camera into an egg? I want to, I want I want to know. I want to know so bad. Tell me. Show me. And then you're gonna you're gonna share them the link to this video so that they'll know how to do it as well. And then everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh and then you you'd wish why didn't I know this any sooner? So there you guys have it. How to be unique in Zoom. I don't even know if that's gonna be the title. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to 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 do what you want it to do all right just do what you want to do you can watch this playlist all right it's a playlist of all my obs studio tutorials you can also watch this video because why not i think it's going to be about a brio and an upgrade you never know i don't know do you know no i don't <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, see ya.